Okay, so you see the image that I use for my thumbnail. Do these paintings look familiar to you? I bet for most of you, they do. And not only do I bet they do look familiar, but I bet that most of you, or a lot of you, can even tell me the artist behind these great creations. But what I want to talk about in this video is what all these paintings seem to have in common. I know, upon a closer look, it still seems they have nothing in common. But then, how could they all be considered great pieces of artwork? So we have Van Gogh in Starry Night. We have Picasso and the old guitarist. We have Basquiat, which is untitled. We have Banksy, which I'm guessing, but it's probably untitled as well. We have Monet in the Sunrise and Andy Warhol's Monroe. I'll tell you what I think makes these paintings great paintings or these artists great artists and you can tell me if you agree or disagree. I feel that most great art is not because of technical skill at all. I believe it's because of a creative unique insight. And a creative unique insight is what these pieces have in common. It makes something interesting. To make something nice to look at or uneasy to look at. Something that provokes a feeling. Now sure, I believe all artwork has its place. All of it. And I've created plenty of it. But do I think I've created my masterpiece yet? No, not at all. Because I think that even though I've gotten a lot better with my technical skill, I have not got there with my own unique vision yet. I haven't created my own style. Now, I do believe that getting good with technical skill is somewhat important, and I think it's awesome if you get really good at those technical skills. I just don't think that's going to do the thing that sets you apart from other artists. Now, with that technical knowledge and skill coupled with a unique and creative vision, I think that that is the sweet spot. Though I think if anything should be said to young or old artists alike, is that we, sh we shouldn't let practicing our technical skills get in the way of our playful, creative insights. In the end, it'll be more likely that you had a thought of an image like Starry Night that makes you a great artist than the fact that you can paint a realistic landscape. This is something that I've had a hard time with myself because maybe something great isn't supposed to be easy or maybe it's so easy that it's overlooked because it seems to me that these things are created by someone's true self, which is God given and always with us. We don't even need to find it. We just have to let it out. Thanks for listening, guys. I hope you got some benefit from this video, and please watch another video.